Yeah, I really, I mean, uh, ever since I got into film photography, like, Pentax 6x7, Pentax 6x7, like, this, it, it was everywhere. I, you know, I wanted one, I looked at one. So as y'all know from a previous video, I recently picked up a Pentax 6x7 and it was messed up. Uh, I just got it back from the shop, ran a roll of Portrait 803 yesterday in Augusta. I just want to give y'all my first initial thoughts on the Pentax 6x7. Yeah, really why I chose it was uh, the SLR style camera, you know, with the prism viewfinder on top. Just hold it up to your eye, like a, almost like a 30, like a 35 mil on steroids, you know, and that's what I really like about it. I can work with 35 mil and 6x7 and kind of just transition smoothness between both of them because it's a viewfinder going up my eye. Instead of like when I had the RB, um, I kind of just had to use the RB by itself because it was a block and then going up, it just... I don't know, just for me, it like messed up with my head. I also just feel like I can compose images better. Uh, SLR style cameras looking through the, the viewfinder versus the waist level viewfinder. Uh, I feel more confident in myself. I feel better with the compositions I get out of it. Right now I have the 75mm uh, 4.5, it came with the camera when I bought it, which I really enjoy because it's equivalent, you know, roughly to 35mm, which is pretty much my favorite focal length right now is 35mm. I do have the 105 on the way, I had to get it, uh, especially for portrait work. I do a lot of environmental portraits and duck hunting, and I plan on taking this camera uh, with me to finish off the season to get some portraits in it. Uh, and then just using it uh, engagement sessions and wedding photos using that strictly for portraits as well with that 105 uh, I also plan on using this camera especially with that 75 millimeter uh, for my landscape work you know just continue to grow in that that's a new venture for me and just trying to figure all that out using that 35 mil I like Really, I mean, the body's big, you know, like I said, it's pretty much a 35 millimeter camera on steroids, but it's a six by seven. Uh, so pretty much every system out there other than the Mamiya seven and six is, uh, is big. You know, the RBs and the RZs are big. But I will say, as big as it is, it does feel good in my hand. I don't even have the wood grip handle. I plan on picking the wood grip handle up, but right now it, it feels good. I will say there are a couple things I don't like about it. I don't like where the mirror up button is. I've hit it a couple times by accident walking around on the beach, especially in the last video. Uh, you know, and it's just kind of, you can't see focus and you can't, you know, you just can't see your frame. I like the mirror up function. I just don't like where the button is uh, just because I accidentally hit it. I also don't like the non-interchangeable film backs, you know, with the RBs and the RZs, you could load up a couple film backs. And then that way when you run through a roll, you can just pop that off, pop it on, especially in the field. You know, when I'm duck hunting, that would be nice. But I don't have that, so I'm probably just going to shoot one or two rolls while hunting. Alright, I don't know what to say, else to say, man. It's just... SLR style, body style, I like it. I suck at camera review.